Hi, and welcome to our special holiday edition of TechCrunch TV. I'm Sarah Lacey, and I'm here with Richard Tate of Hope Lab. Richard has some exciting news. Hope Lab is a nonprofit uh, company, and you guys are spinning out a for-profit game aimed to solve some of the problems that people think gaming creates. Tell us a little bit more about it. That's absolutely right. right. Hope Lab is launching uh, a subsidiary organization to introduce a new product, a new tech-based product that we've created specifically to fight sedentary behavior in young people. Um, as many of us know, opportunities for kids to play uh, and move around are decreasing greatly. And research shows us that young teens in particular stop playing and they become more sedentary. They become uh, more engaged with technology. Their play patterns actually change. Uh, we at Hope Lab see that as an opportunity to basically meet kids where they are and inspire them to move more. Mm -hmm. uh, now, I feel like everyone from Guitar Hero to Weed, now Connect, have all said that they're doing the same thing. So what makes your game different? Yeah, a couple of things. Um, Hope Lab's approach is very different than most commercial organizations. So the way that we've developed this pro product is fairly unique. We're a research-based organization, so we've focused on a very particular health behavior and then looked at a number of mechanisms to address that um, based on the scientific literature. In addition, we've conducted randomized controlled pilot studies to really determine whether or not we're on the right track. Are we actually getting young people to move more? Uh, we've tested Zamzi with approximately 300 kids across the country, and we see that kids who have the Zamzi experience move around about 30% more. So that combination of sort of research-based development and proof of efficacy is pretty unique, we think, in this particular field. 30% mm -hmm. more, that seems like a lot. That's How are you making people move 30%? I mean, are, like for me, you just have to put like the Red Bull fridge farther from my office. What is the key with children? <laughs> well, it's true. 30 minutes or 30% is a significant increase. Um, if you look at that in sort of a month long snapshot, that's about the equivalent of running an additional marathon a month for these kids. So it's huge. The way that we do that is basically we've created an experience that's purely fun to engage with. So we're using technology that kids are familiar with. Um, Zamzi is essentially an online digital rewards platform that's powered by young people's physical activity. We've created a Zamzi activity meter that's a three-axis accelerometer. It records kids' activities. They plug it into their computer at the end of the day, and that activity is translated into points, and those points uh, can be converted to a currency that they can use to purchase things that they want, virtual goods, tangible goods, um, everything from site customization options to gift cards and even merchandise. Mm -hmm. So there's an incentive and reward program that's tied to the activity measurement that we think will keep kids moving. Now, is this like playing skee ball where like you go and you like throw the wooden ball a hundred times and you get like eight tickets and like you can buy a whistle or are they things that people really want? We are really focused on giving kids the things that they really want. They have to earn them, they have to move, but absolutely, this isn't just tickets um, that you earn at the, at the ski ball arcade. Um, we're talking about things like um, gift cards to Target or to Amazon, um, merchandise um, from retailers, from brands that kids care about and are important to them. Um, part of Zamzi Co's task will be to create partnerships and relationships to really deliver a catalog of goods that both inspire kids to move and also really appeal to kids um, and the things that they're interested in having. Mm -hmm. Now when you talk about movement, what are you talking about? Because a lot of little things can add up to the equivalent of running a marathon, but part of the reason yeah. you get in shape running a marathon is you're running it continuously. So yeah. is there meaningful exercise versus just fidgeting in your chair? Absolutely. So both of those things are important. In aggregate, even fidgeting in your chair is physical activity. But absolutely, we're looking to inspire the level of physical activity that's actually going to improve kids' health. The Zamzi activity, activity meter is specially calibrated to measure the way that kids move around. So unlike a lot of products that are focused on adults, um, this activity meter measures even short bursts of physical activity. And the way that we think about that is, is kids playing or running around with their friends or even dancing in their room to mm -hmm. learn the latest moves to the most recent B.O.B. song. Whatever it is, if it's physical activity, they're getting points for it. Um, how much they move around determines how many points they earn. Uh, the system is calibrated to actually be personalized to how much 
the young person's moving around. So as they beat their average um, day, day after day, they're actually earning points at an accelerated rate. So it's not just total activity, it's how much you're improving over your activity day to day. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. I think anything that ties in like personal competitiveness is always real. Because I mean, that's why we play video games over and over again, right? You want to beat your other score. You want to be better than yourself. You want to be showing improvement. Yeah, oh. and it's really about the user. Um, mm -hmm. So the experience gives young people a chance to see their activity data displayed to them, how much have I moved today, mm -hmm. um, as well as giving them this access to essentially a virtual economy. So by going out and moving around, they actually earn a currency that they can then uh, redeem for things that they want online. Mm -hmm. Now, you guys have a unique situation where you know, you're taking this from a nonprofit, spinning it into for-profit, and you know, we'll talk about that a little bit more specifically in the next segment, but you know, I, I want to get an idea of just, you know, now that you are spinning it out, when can parents expect this to be more widely available? What's the go-to-market strategy? Yeah, we'll be, um, we'll be introducing product into the market uh, in the second quarter of next year in a closed beta. So it'll be a fairly limited number of products out there. That's really going to give us a chance to understand what's working and what we need to improve on the product experience. We'll have a full launch before the end of the year next year in 2011. Um, but I would expect that if folks um, log in uh, sign up for our newsletter, they'll begin to hear news about some of our rollout activities in the second quarter of next year. We're really excited about it. You should reserve a chunk of beta invites for TechCrunch readers. I think we can do that. <laughs> All right, great, Richard. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And I know everyone sitting out there is just gorged or is about to gorge on Thanksgiving dinner will just feel like they need to fidget more in their chair as a result of listening to you. Right. Pick up a Zamzi and get moving. <laughs>